How's it going, Trey? Good. <laughs> You're probably on the YouTube video now. Oh, is this live? Today's a little bit different than normal. Uh, you guys are gonna come on a little trip with me to uh, Northern California, and uh, I'm gonna hang out with my buddies, Greg and Trey, who are the creators of BattleBots. And I'm gonna show you something I've been working on. I think this is the right house. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. What's up? So what are we doing today? We are going to uh, Trey's house. Trey, Trey is your cousin. Yeah. And you guys started BattleBots together. And I've started a little side hustle in the last two months, selling weapons online. So you're an arms dealer then. I am an arms dealer, uh, which is a goofy thing to say. And this all started back um, some of you guys on YouTube probably remember a collaboration I did with this uh, big German dude named Jörg Sprave, <laughs> who runs the Slingshot channel. And it was super fun working with Jörg, and he's selling crossbows and harpoon guns. He wanted somebody to help him with selling these things in the U.S., because right now he sells them in Germany. And the people in the U.S. who want to buy from Germany have a kind of a crappy experience. They have to convert their currency into euros, shipping takes a long time, and if they want to return stuff, they got to pay for expensive international shipping to return stuff. So, the so, you're, so you, you're the U.S. source now. I'm the U.S. source. We kind of worked out a deal where I'm going to distribute everything in the U.S. and in Canada uh, and Mexico. So now we're selling crossbows. So, so you want a kick-ass crossbow? The crossbow is super cool. It is the first ever commercially available repeating crossbow. So wait, wait, wait. What what does that mean? Repeating. So repeating a repeating crossbow is a crossbow that you can load like five bolts into and you can just kick off like five shots within 30 seconds. So you fire it and you cock it again and you fire it and you cock it again and you fire it and you cock so it. So it's like a little hopper full of five. It's got a, it's, it is a magazine. Oh dude, okay. So it's a magazine and uh, it's, it's very tactical. It's got like Picatinny rails on it so you can mount like laser sights and flashlights and stuff on it, all this like, crazy stuff. That's where cool. it all what starts. Is the, uh, what's the URL where you pick the these up. And so the URL you can buy these is gogun.co. C-O. C-O, not .com, but gogun.co. Cool. So head over there, you can take a look at the products. Awesome. Okay, so here we are at uh, Trey's Ranch, I guess we can call it. Something like How's it going, Trey? Good. <laughs> You're probably on the YouTube video now. Oh, is this live? No, it's not live. Uh, we'll later. Come on in. So ABC, you know, for the two seasons we're on ABC, we got they gave us a poster. <laughs> and funny. traces, but this is cooler. This is the uh, one of the original. I what year is this? I think it's year two, isn't this it? Is, this is year two, or fourth annual. So it's fourth. Okay. So, so every all the robot builders signed every this. Every builder signed it. Biohazard. Yeah. You know. Who else is Card on there? did that for us. Yeah, cool shit. Blendo. That's Jamie Heineman from Mythbusters. Yeah. Tape room. Are you rolling? Yeah. Rolling. Tape room. This is BattleBot seasons one through five. So this is this is this all is, of the old. This is like the Comedy Central days. Yeah. So season five, which these are double layered. So if you look back in the back, there's a whole metal layer. Of tapes. Yeah. So season five had 500 and some odd robots competing. So 10 days of solid filming, oh, probably about 10 hours. Comedy Central Sports presents yeah. robots. Yeah. Oh, so this is why when all the um, old school BattleBots fans say, why don't you put your stuff on DVD? It's like, well, imagine logging all this stuff and then editing all this stuff. Oh, Get so, them all synced. So this is, it's like not, it's not just like what aired, it's like these are the actual tapes that the cameras Correct. are rolling. So yeah. like you can pull like the, whatever, so 10 cameras. Yeah, and there's put one row and then everything you know, that aired. Uh, I so see. So the aired. And halfway just, through each day, they do like three tape changes. Yeah. So you probably have, each camera's probably got. Well, no, yeah. each, one tape is one hour. Oh, so that's so like. So some of the tapes are, some of the days were 10 hour days. And there was one season we had 12 cameras. So literally there's cameras <laughs> one through 12. 
for 10 days of shooting. Oh my now, the God. first three days, we only used three cameras. Right. And then the, the final days, we the last five days or whatever, we did 12 cameras for that season. So if you're an assistant editor, this is a giant freaking nightmare. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But it's once it's nightmare. once it's all lined up, once you, put, breeze, you get all the cameras just... lined up and all you got to do is switch to it, then it's relatively it's easy. Two months worth of work just to line it all up. Yeah. It's two months worth of work to digitize it. So. Yeah. And, and, and then God. to line it all up. And it's none of it's HD, too. It's all yeah. so three, four by three. What do you want? So, yeah. How far does it shoot? Uh, so first of all, I have never shot a crossbow before, so I really have no idea what I'm doing. But <laughs> I just sell these things. I have no idea how they work. Um, I think it's, I think it's accurate to like 50 meters. It's kind of like the, it's like, eh, after 50 meters, it gets a little mm, kind of crappy. So I've also never sighted in a projectile weapon ever in my life, uh -huh. besides maybe like a giant robot cannon or two. It's got uh, Jorg's name on there. It's got a red dot uh, laser sight. You load five bolts in the magazine here. It's got an AR-15 stock on the back, adjustable. So you can, you know, hold it like that. And then uh, to cock it and reload it, you just pull down here on this lever I'm not going to do it right now because honestly, I don't really know how to uncock it yet. But uh, yeah, you just pull that out, bring it back, and then you're ready to shoot. Pop one off, and you just do that four more times. So, pretty awesome. sweet, pretty sweet. We're going to put it through its paces. I'm just going to blast off like three shots. I'll just see if I can get them in a, what do you call it, a bundle? I don't know. So the safety's got to go. Safety's got to be on. Forward. To that makes a lot of sense. Forward. Now you can cock it. Bring it all the way forward. Bring it all the way back. And then you gotta do the safety again. Now it's now it's dangerous. That's a good team. Another one. Go look. Pretty good bundle. Pretty groupy. So I was putting the laser like right here for the second two shots and right here for the first shot. Try to, uh, okay, what are we shooting at? So we are now shooting at a mealy old apple. We're gonna do the classic archer shot. Trey doesn't think I'm gonna. <laughs> Trey doesn't think I'm gonna hit it. Here we go. sighted in now uh looks to be much more powerful uh than we thought oh, these arrows really got embedded into the wood there and uh, we actually had to use a drill to drill around the wood to be able to pull the, the bolts out uh so pretty pretty sweet toy i'm i'm actually really happy with this um these are a ton of fun again you can grab these uh at my site gogun.co um and have fun they're super great and uh can't wait to see what other products we come up with so next, we're gonna test another product. This is called the Scuba Ringer, and it's actually an underwater uh, breech load pneumatic harpoon gun. The way this works is these are little air canisters. You, you pump these up to about 3,000 PSI, and they fire off this aluminum dart off of this lead tube here. And uh, I know York's got a few videos of these online, uh, but it looks super fun to play with. So we're gonna, we're gonna blast some things with this, and put it through its paces as well. Here we go. 